I cannot decide if it's a good thing or a bad thing that time seems to go more quickly as one gets older. It has certainly come as a surprise to me to know that we're now celebrating the 25th anniversary of the formation of ILCOR. This great organisation provides universal collaboration in the formation of resuscitation guidelines, offering an authoritative source for the underlying science that is the basis for practice worldwide. Until 1990, no real attempt had been made to coordinate our efforts across continents. We came together for the first time in June of that year uh, under the auspices of the Lairdal Foundation, seeking to standardise nomenclature. Mutual understanding is an essential prerequisite for cooperation. In February 1992, the American Heart Association invited their new friends to the National Congress on Cardiopulmonary Resuscitation in Dallas. Representatives of more than 25 countries and 53 international uh, organizations came together. Discussion included the possible creation of a permanent infrastructure for international cooperation. This would necessitate establishing working groups with worldwide membership, bringing together the principal experts in the various fields of resuscitation. Agreements generated in this way would be widely accepted as a knowledge source for future guidelines. In November 1992, representatives from guideline producing organizations, the European Resuscitation Council, the American Heart Association, the Heart and Stroke Foundation of Canada, the Australian Resuscitation Council, and the Resuscitation Council of Southern Africa, held the first meeting of what later became known as the International Liaison Committee on Resuscitation, ILCOR. It will be a delight for all, as it is for me, to see how ILCOR has progressed over the years. I'm proud to have been one of those present from the start, and I want to offer my very best wishes for a happy birthday and for continuing success over the next 25 years. Very few international organisations enjoy such productive cooperation with the desire for general agreement being a powerful driving force. This works. The world should take note.